This is uh, this this is everything I'm taking on holiday. Hi guys, um, traveling abroad on Thursday, so we're uh, we're going to Marbella for two weeks on holiday, a family holiday. Um, I'm not going to be doing any editing on holiday. I'm not taking the laptop, so I'm just going to do. I'll do obviously lots of recording, lots of photographs, but uh, I'll edit and upload everything when I get back off holiday. So there'll be loads of uh, stuff coming your way. To, so keep tuned, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already uh, so you don't miss any videos coming up soon. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through of what I'm taking abroad and how, a few tips on how to travel. Um, okay, let's just jump straight into it. Um, first of all, I'm taking my Benro Carbon tripod for photography. Uh, this thing's really light and it's really strong and it's going to withstand the travel and stuff. So that's coming with me to travel with. That is that. To put on the tripod, I'm taking my photography camera, my Canon EOS 700D. Uh, at the moment, I've got the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens on there with a ND variable ND filter on the front for those nice motion blur water scenes. That's going to go on there. On the side, I've got a um, L bracket by Pig Iron. Um, that's off Amazon. It's not very expensive. I think it's about 15 quid. Um, just so you can get the portrait mode and the landscape mode on that uh, arc Swiss style mountain there. So that's the Canon. Um, I'm filming on my Canon M50, which is my vlogging camera. Um, on the top I've got the Rode Video Micro and I've got a Manfrotto tripod, a uh, little pixel tripod that I use. I love those tripods. Same as this one. I don't use a white one because it gets all dirty. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but on the top, Any of you got kids that play Fortnite? Can you hear that? Um, on the top I've got a... F for my time lapses with my phone, I use a Manfrotto phone holder. iPhones are probably one of the quickest and best things to do time lapses with. Um, I've done a little tutorial up there, I'll link it up, up, up there. Motion time lapse as well, with this little guy. The Andua time lapse thing, it's just like egg timer basically, which sticks on top of there and it turns around and does a little motion time lapse. I'll link the video up above. Um, I've got a EFS adapter for the Canon M50, um, so you can put your EFS lenses onto the M50, taking that with me. These lenses obviously go on both cameras then because I've got the Nifty 50 for some nice portraits and stuff. It's quite a pretty hotel we're going to, so I'm taking that lens with me. I'm taking the long lens, the 70, 75 to 300. It's not an expensive lens, but it's a decent zoom. It, it gives out decent. Talking of SD cards, because it's just run out. Um, I'm taking, I've ordered a couple more 128 gigabyte SD cards to take with me so I can record everything. Um, I've got a couple of 16, 50, a 32 and a 64 gigabyte as well. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough. Um, what else? Yeah. My pride and joy, the Samyang 2.8. Um, now this is, um, I've got this specifically for astrophotography, um, but it's a really good wide lens for landscape as well. The only trouble is you can't get any, well, you can be, I haven't got any ND filters that fit on this, it's quite, it's like we've got a fish eye lens on it. So uh, that's a lovely lens though, brilliant for uh, night photography. Um, some cleaning stuff, a GoPro bobber, so you don't lose your GoPro and the GoPro uh, itself. Um, I got this one refurbished on um, eBay. They do refurbished ones, the GoPro uh, 5 Black. Uh, obviously, they're brilliant and a bunch of mounts in there and the charging lead and everything as well. Uh, I've only got one battery though. I could do some more batteries. Um, a torch, because you never know. The other thing that you, is imperative for traveling is the uh, is a drone and I've got the Mavic Pro which films in 4K it can go up to four miles away from you because um, it, it works on the radio signal with the uh, with the remote as well and I've got another spare battery so I've got nearly an hour's worth of fly time there 
uh, with these two batteries when they're fully charged. So that's that, and the final thing is just under the case full of uh, batteries for the M50 and the 700D. So, um, yeah, that's everything I'm taking with me. As regards to travelling abroad with this kind of stuff, um, obviously you, you travel at your own risk. Um, everything goes in my Manfrotto street backpack. It's all packed in there. I, I usually keep, you have to keep your batteries with you in your carry-on. Um, and a quick tip is to get some tape and just just to cover just to cover the ports where they connect so you know they can't when you when you go through uh, security there's no chance of these things um, turning on um, with the drone I just take the battery out and then I, I last year I took the drone in the suitcase wrapped it up in a towel and it's perfectly safe not sure about tripods, it's classed as a weapon probably, so I'm going to put this in the suitcase as well. It, 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 you're not going to break carbon, um, but yeah, I'm going to put that in the suitcase, I'm not going to carry it on with me. Um, yeah, but the rest of the stuff is totally fine. Uh, the, I think the limit for batteries is if this is 43 watts per hour. Uh, I think the limit's about 75, so these batteries are quite big and they're, they're perfect and they're, they're okay for travelling with. Um, I'm not taking the laptop. But yeah, um, but yeah, be safe when you're travelling abroad with all your stuff, just look after it. Um, obviously when it's in the hotel room it's all locked away, it's all insured as well, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, I've got everything there for filming, everything, taking lots of photographs and having some fun while I'm out there. Um, like I said, I'm not going to upload anything while I'm away, but um, I am going to do lots of stuff and lots of vlogs for later on. My Bay Area is an amazing place where we go to. It's Port of Banus and um, I love the area. It's our third year in the row we've been there. Uh, so I'm going to make some films and we probably won't go there again next year. So just so we can remember it in the future. As I said before, document over create. Uh, and that's definitely what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, that is my travel gear. That is my travel gear. It's all going in the backpack, like I said. I'm going to pack this all away, ready for the trip. And uh, stay tuned, guys, for those trip vlogs. And um, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Press the little bell. Little bell up here. Do -do -do, little bell. Do press the little bell at the top as well, so you, um, so you don't miss any videos coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching. Travel safe. This was me. That is you. Take care.